I've been a member of lots of small groups throughout my Christian walk, and some of my fondest memories of those various groups have been when we as a group would agree to focus our attention on a single kingdom issue and then take a deep dive into it. For the next four weeks, your small group is going to take a fresh look at how to point people who are far from God to faith in Jesus Christ. You're going to hear some fascinating stories of some of my friends who have come to faith in Christ in recent years and how that process unfolded for each of them. All of a sudden I got a phone call out of the blue saying that we were not going to sail our regular program and that we were going to sail with this pastor from Chicago. And um, I just about hit the floor. I could tell that Dave was uh, suspicious because I was a pastor. He had never really known a Christian well at that point in his life. And uh, I remember just saying to myself, this is gonna be a long, slow walk. I had all my questions answered. I had uh, great friends around me, people that I respected that were Christians. And I just really felt it was time for me to say yes. Just Walk Across the Room was born out of the desire to help every Christ follower reflect Christ's love and repeat his action by taking simple walks across rooms, leaving our own circles of comfort, extending hands of care and compassion and inclusiveness to people living far from God. And we got just a little friendship started. One day, because we had a holiday service coming up at Willow, I thought, well, why not just take a shot? And kind of uh, subtly invited me to Willow, which at that point in my life, uh, I wasn't really interested in. Yeah, the new Brian, when you knew the old one, and now you see the new one. My life has gone through an unbelievable change. You're also gonna hear from another friend of mine who has not crossed the line of faith yet, but who has certainly made progress from the negative territory that he was in. Bill and I were raised very similarly. I went to school and the chapel every day and twice on Sunday and catechism and I didn't like it. And I rebelled against it. I think something that's hard for Christians to offer people far from God is a kind of radical inclusiveness. I hope you'll consider joining me as we explore a brand new way to point people toward faith. Your life can have an eternal impact on someone, and it can begin with something as simple as a walk across a room.